Hello, my name is Dylan Turnbull and I'm a Solutions Architect with F5's Nginx Business Development Unit. Today we're going to be looking at our Rancher partnership. We'll be using the Rancher Kubernetes engine to deploy Nginx Ingress Controller and then add it to Rancher's management tool. After that, we'll be adding in a small demo application to show how it all works together. In the terminal window, you can see that I've already started deploying my RKE cluster. To do this, I constructed a small RKE cluster.yaml to define all of the host nodes that will be in my RKE cluster. To expedite things, the video is running at 2x speed. The cluster deployment takes just over a minute to complete, and the entire demo from beginning to end took just over 9 minutes. Now that the cluster is finished building successfully, we'll go ahead and copy over the config file so that we can interact with it. Then we'll do a quick check to make sure that that happened properly. Now we'll be deploying a tool called Metal LB. This will allow us to have an external IP address that our Nginx ingress controller can use to access the website demo. To complete this, we'll be deploying three manifests, one that contains a secret. At the very end, we'll deploy a config.yaml file to give MetalLB a bank of IP addresses for the cluster to use. Prior to deploying the config.yaml, we'll do a quick check to make sure that MetalLB deployed successfully. Now that we know that's occurred, we'll go ahead and apply the config.yaml to get our bank of IP addresses for the cluster to use. Moving over to the Rancher Manager, it's time to add the cluster. We're going to go ahead and name it RKE-Cluster create it, and then create a cluster role binding. To find our user account, we'll go ahead and look inside the kube config file. There we'll find our user so that we can add that to our cluster role binding and then send that manifest into the cluster. Now we'll execute a command to import our cluster into the Ranger Manager. This will take a few short minutes to complete at which time we'll be able to access our RKE cluster through the Rancher Manager and interact with it. Next, we'll head to the default namespace, click the apps link, and launch the Rancher catalog. From here, we can launch the Nginx Ingress Controller Rancher chart. We'll be making a few minor changes to the values file that will allow us to tell it what type of ingress controller we want to deploy. And in this case, we'll be using a private registry to deploy Nginx plus ingress controller. We'll make one final change to turn on Prometheus metrics and then go ahead and launch the ingress controller. This will take a few seconds to complete and then we'll take a look inside the ingress controller to see what's happened. As you can see, we've picked up our external IP address from MetalLB. Next up, we'll deploy the Rancher demo application. I'll be going through a fairly standard process to stand up this demo application. I'll make a couple of directory changes to make sure we're in the demo directory. And then we'll go ahead and create our deployment. Once the deployment is created, we'll create a service for that deployment. Then we'll do a quick check just to make sure that our pods have come up correctly. Once we validated that this is the case, we now can deploy our ingress resource. Once this is complete, our application is now online and ready to have a look at. Before we have a look at our application, let's look and see what happened inside the Rancher Manager. As you can see, everything's there and ready to go. Now let's go ahead and access that site. And there you have it. Fully deployed with an ingress controller and ready to serve pages. To finish up, we're going to go ahead and tear down the cluster. So the first step is to delete that out of the Rancher Manager. That'll take a little bit to complete. So in the meantime, we're going to do a watch on all namespaces. And what we're going to be looking for is cattle cleanup. Once that pod disappears, it'll be now time for us to go ahead and tear down our cluster. To do this, we'll be using the same RKE binary we used to bring the cluster up, except we'll be doing an RKE remove. To find that command, I went ahead and put it in our RKE cluster.yaml file. We'll go ahead and grab that, and we'll wait for our cattle cleanup to go ahead and disappear. 